what is going on zibs i'm actually real excited to uh do this video because i know it's going to help a lot of people and i couldn't find a lot of this online but if you've got a 2011 to 2014 hyundai sonata and this may work for other year sonatas or other cars in general because these sunroofs are kind of made the same way and you have water standing water in your driver's side or passenger side or both um from rain okay this was after a heavy we had real heavy rain the last few days and i got in the car and i was like splish, you know, splashing in the water i'm like oh crap what's going on so i wanted to show you how to fix that first thing is you gotta get rid of the water right so i took like a wet dry vac or a rug dock vac so you can take a wet dry vac like that do the water if you wanted to go a step up which is what i did right underneath the mirror follow the mirror all the way down there is this hole right here it's it was covered with like a rubber stopper type of thing i just took like a broom handle and I popped it open and all that water from the floor drained um that was a lot faster honestly so after you do that and to get to get to that I should have told you, this was here you take a um tool like a plastic crevice tool like that and you pop this out okay that'll pop out and then you have to remove this um um, zip tie to get the wiring harness up and then you move the carpet and kind of air things out and you can actually grab that little stopper and slide it back you don't have to do this by the way you could just open the stopper and that's it so clean the water whatever way you want that's what i did there next step come up here this is the most important step and the most exciting step open your sunroof there was water standing water all over here i knew it was uh, pretty bad the drain is I don't know if you can see it, it's right in the corner. Even if you don't see it, it's fine. You see that little hole right there? It's on the other side too. Right there, see? That was completely clogged. So what I did was I took compressed air. See this hose connected to my compressor with this little uh, air tool here, you can get anywhere. I opened that up and you're gonna hear right now, uh, it's real loud, but it'll get quiet once it goes in into the hole right there it's quiet that means it's blowing right through the hole i let that run for about five minutes and i started to feel a little bit of air from the bottom right there but i knew it wasn't good enough so i took boiling hot not boiling i put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half and i poured the water in here slowly and the hot water helps dissolve all, all that soot and debris and then i started hearing the water trickle out at first and it was gushing out so now i know that that uh, drain has been unclogged and then I went back with the compressed air and went right back at it and went um, in there and let it run for another five minutes until my compressor turned back on and lost all the uh, the air and it was completely unclogged I haven't done the other side yet but I'm going to um, but that takes care of that and I'm sure I'm positive the dealership would charge $700 or more to do this job um, and again you don't have to take that plastic trim piece I just did it to be thorough uh, you don't have to but that's the only way to kind of lift up the carpet there and you don't have to put that stopper back in You could just let it be uh, I would let it be because you want all that air to kind of air that musty smell out from the water and all that but again that um, That is how to take care of standing water that's dripping from your sunroof uh, That's clogged that, that has clogged drains and the water settling right there on your uh, driver or passenger side on a Hyundai Sonata all right, gentlemen, free Palestine, and so I'm out. Join me in, ladies.